from the quick grabbed interview in the pit lane. Let's sit you down at home and let's talk about every aspect of your racing career, whether it takes half a day, a whole day, maybe two days in the case of Mario. Uh, we had um, an entertaining day with Emerson Fittipaldi in Sao Paulo. We've just come back from France where we spent some time with Alain Prost. Uh, Jody Schechter will be sitting down with next week, then Andretti, uh, Alan Jones down in Australia and so on. And you can see why it's such a such an appetizing prospect because I sort of belong to the to the old era, the good old days, you, you know, the great stars of uh, the 70s and 80s. So it's a joy to go back there to the assembly stores again. And this is all part of uh, Sky's plan to deliver more content to uh, viewers and also to maybe educate people who don't know so much about Formula One about the rich history of our sport. I think it, I, I think Sky have got to make sure that they're in touch with the rich history and uh, and they've got enough air time to be able to explore every aspect of Formula One. I don't think that they be patronising enough to suggest that people need educating about Formula One. The BBC in the last three years has done an absolutely fantastic job in bringing people closer to what's happening in a Grand Prix pit lane, what's happening behind the scenes in Formula One, both in their race build up uh, and in everything that they do uh, after the chequered flag has fallen. Uh, Sky simply will be building on that, but it's a very interesting broadcast landscape, uh, certainly this season and over the next three years to come. Uh, and I have to say, I'm not here to be a cheerleader for Sky or anything like that, but you have to confront the inevitability of the fact that probably in four, five, six years' time, sports like Formula One will be almost exclusively uh, on pay television, and that's a prospect that we all have to confront. So they've got a fantastic new commentator in Ben Edwards, who we've worked very closely with on the Touring Car Championship in recent years. I think you're talking to him. Uh, What's coming up next? Uh, and they're a terrific team. Sky will do their best, but uh, give them six months or a couple of years uh, to reach full pace. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for joining us up on the F1 Racing stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Ryder. It's all connected, uh, and you were able to argue that the sort of synergy between the small events, or apparently small events, that the BBC were doing at a grandstand from Thruxton or from Snetterton, and there was a connection between that and what was ultimately being seen in Formula One. Through our Formula Three coverage uh, on grandstand, we got our first view of Senna. We got that great Senna Brundle battle. We got our first view of David Coulthard. Uh, Damon Hill, Mika Hakkinen, uh, Formula One world champions in the, in the making, all got a first introduction to the audience by the BBC's commitment to domestic motorsport. I would just love to see that commitment um, put in place again, uh, maybe as a kind of consolation for what the Formula One audience is losing in terms of terrestrial coverage. How do you think that's going to come about? What do we need to do? I don't know. I, I think an irrevocable step has been taken. Um, I'm going to be doing some work for Sky, but I'm not here as a sort of cheerleader uh, for Sky. I, I, I think their involvement in Formula One was inevitable. Uh, I think their long-term domination of Formula One is also inevitable, whether it's two, three, four or five years away, uh, I think it's going to happen, uh, which means that the BBC retreat entirely uh, from motorsport. Uh, but does that need to happen? I think the BBC, if they're going to bask in the glow of what's happening with their Formula One coverage, need to extend that uh, to sort of back up their, to recreate the influence that they used to have and the support they have for British Motorsport. British Rally Championship, World Rally Championship desperately needs terrestrial coverage. Formula Three Championship is uh, the same. Uh, and the BBC will appreciate like it used to 20 years ago, but it's all joined up. It's all connected, it's all motivated.